Hi, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. We're a tribe of people approaching 20,000 at our Discord that basically look at the stock opportunities with a focus on the future. Not so much about what something did in the past, but more of what's going to happen in the future. And collectively, we basically try to find the stocks that are going to change the way we live. We have three goals. One, to make good investment decisions. Number two, to keep more of what we make by understanding our tax code. And number three, to build family wealth. So when I come on here, I'm basically sharing my knowledge, my experience. I was a uh, financial planner within the Ameriprise system, had one of the largest financial planning firms within their franchise group, and I share my knowledge. And then hopefully you learn from that knowledge and we collectively grow together. But I want to turn the tables on you here today. What I want to basically do is take a look at a stock in Vitae uh, that has become to my attention and then I want to share with you how I analyze it and ask you to do the same and tell me whether or not I should buy the stock. Okay? Should be a fun exercise. Let's get into it right after this. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, how I want this to work is that if you're already a member of our tribe, you go to Best of Us, or you've been to Best of Us Investors, you've gone to the, the, the website, and there you have signed up and by giving me your name and your email address, and I've given you a uh, link to our Discord. That's what I, if you're not a member of the Discord, that's what I'd like you to do here. Um, and then you'll go to the Discord and you'll find a space there in the investment chat room where you can basically say yes or no to Invite. So here's how I went about it. I became a really knowledgeable of Invite uh, from an interview that I saw with Kathy Woods on CNBC. Here's that interview. What, where, which one you think is the most underappreciated name right now in, in your portfolio that you'd be looking to add positions to? Well, um, we just went through this this morning. Uh, Invite in the molecular diagnostic space is probably one of the most important companies in the genomic revolution. And it is getting hammered. Uh, you know, it's a, a company that has had uh, historically small cash cushions, although they've, cha they've uh, rectified that with offerings, which is great. Um, but it's investing aggressively to be the leader in the molecular diagnostic uh, 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 testing space. Many people, the disconnect for many people here is when they think of lab tests, they think of LabCorp and Quest Diagnostics, which are effectively very mature companies, commoditized value stocks. And so it is a little bit like uh, Tesla in the automobile uh, industry. Uh, the new lab tests, uh, uh, which are going to be informed by artificial intelligence and big data and supercomputing power uh, are going are we believe in a winner take most market as we move into personalized medicine much di different from one test for all although we'll see multi cancer screening certainly in that realm but we think the move towards personalized testing is going to give just a few companies the lion's share of the market those companies with the most data the highest quality data, and the best AI expertise. Okay, the next thing I did was I went to Seeking Alpha. We have a relationship with Seeking Alpha. We have a investment or, uh, analyst team within Best of Us Investors, and they use um, Seeking Alpha to help them make decisions. So I went to Seeking Alpha, and I found an uh, article on, um, on Invitae by Robert, Robert uh, Abbott, and I'm going to put a link to that article in the description down here so that you can read the article and come to your conclusions. Basically, what I found in this article was that Invite is a company that's not making any money. It's been around for a while, but their, their, their gig is that 
rather than doing sequencing and um, and and doing laboratory work, they're developing. I guess you would say it's the software that takes the information, the data that is comes out of the genome sequencing um, tests or therapies and using artificial intelligence analyzes it, compares it to all the other data that they're accumulating, and then comes helps the laboratories, the hospitals, the doctors to come to conclusion. So if you would think of it, it is the next step in customizing individual medicine. Now, their history is they don't make any money. Uh, in fact, as I look at at it and read this article and look at charts and to come to some understanding, I see that they have been in a very heavy acquisition mode. They are spending money very, very rapidly. And in order to fund that, they are issuing more shares. They're in fact, from uh, 2017 to today, they have increased their shares by over 150%. They've, they've almost tripled the number of shares, I guess is what I'm saying. So that is raising capital so that they can go make acquisitions and thus improve their, their position within the company. At the same time, though, I read that their, um, their revenue from 19 to 20 has increased substantially from $216 million for 19 to $279 million for 20. I also read, though, are that, that the number of tests that they run, thus gaining more data, has increased from 482,000 in 2019 to 659,000 in 2020. At the same time, their losses have increased dramatically. Uh, 19, they lost $242 million, and uh, in 20, they lost uh, $608 million. So um, about a two and a half times increase in the amount of losses. That's not good. Interestingly enough, though, there is comparison made to this company, to Amazon, that this that Amazon basically lost money for 14 years until they built their base and they built their strength of position and then basically exploded. Um, and it has been said that Invitia is potentially the Amazon of the uh, biotech uh, genomic sequencing world. It is going to be the collector of data, much as Amazon Web Services is the collect collector of data for um, for basically everything. This is what the, the position that Invitia will be positioning themselves in. So it's by by all means, it's it's a long shot. So then the, the question became, um, where do you buy in? Uh, and for me, I use TradingView.com. TradingView is a, a charting service which has a free program, which I've used for years, but recently have subscribe to their premium program because I'm not a chartist. I, I don't really have expertise, but what I have found in, in TradingView is, the, is access to other people who do do charting. And I don't know how that they, they appear on the site, but I can put this stock into the, the ticker symbol up and then it will show me so kind of almost like a social media program, uh, other people's chartings. It shows me the head and shoulders. It shows me the trend lines. It shows me professional charters who are charting in Vitia. And then they, they are predicting where the buy-in point is, where the gaps are. So it is a resource that I have become become dependent on and you can get a discount on it if you'll go down into the the description you're going to see a uh, section that says uh, tools 
um, investment tools. And in there is a affiliate link to Trading Views. And I'd encourage you to uh, subscribe to it, take advantage of the discount, and add this to your arsenal. Um, so and that's where I am at on this. And as I said, I want to do something a bit different. I want you to come to Best of Us Investors, give me your name and your um, at your email address, and I'm going to send you a link to our Discord. Then when you're in the Discord, I want you to give me a thumbs up yes or a thumb down, thumbs down on Invitia. So um, it's going to be a fun exercise. It, it looks to me like a company with potential, but a pretty high risk factor going along with it because they're burning money really fast. Uh, the, oh, the other thing I wanted to share with you, they're very heavily um, owned by institutions, which tells me basically that um, there is a confirmation there that, uh, that the institutions have done the due diligence and the research. It says basically that NASDAQ reports that 92% of the shares are being bought, bought by uh, institution, whereas a guru focus um, says it's 75.7% of institutions. Either way, whichever is right, it's a substantial um, number that of institutions that are investing in this. This gives me confidence. Um, but I want to know what you think. So go to Best of Us Investors. Uh, I'll send you a, a link to the Discord and you give me a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thank you. 